82 days. That's all it took Tesla to build the Model 2 Senior Edition production line from scratch, while competitors need over a year. We're talking 6,500-ton gigacast machines, modular assembly cells, and three battery options, including one that fully charges in 90 seconds. The factory can pump out 128,000 units annually, each priced under $30,000. But here's the twist nobody expected. This affordable EV isn't chasing young buyers. It's designed for drivers over 50. Why would Tesla's cheapest car target seniors? And what does this reveal about their real strategy? Let's dive right in. Traditional automakers need 12 to 18 months to set up a new production line. Volkswagen takes a year just to calibrate their ID.3 assembly. Toyota, the efficiency king, requires 14 months minimum. Tesla built the Model 2 Senior Edition line in 82 days, from bare concrete to full production. Satellite images showed mysterious supplier movements and equipment deliveries arriving at odd hours. Before anyone understood what was happening, the line was operational and pumping out vehicles. What forced them to move this fast, and what did they build that's so different? The answer lies in the architecture itself. This isn't a traditional assembly line with endless conveyor belts where one breakdown stops everything. Tesla designed a modular cellular layout with five independent production modules, each with its own buffer and fault isolation system. If Module 3 stops for calibration or maintenance, Modules 1, 2, 4, and 5 keep running. Toyota spent decades trying to achieve this level of operational independence. Tesla deployed it in under three months. The result? Production capacity hits 110,000 units annually on single shift, jumping to 128,000 with double shifts running. That's higher output than most legacy automakers achieve in their third year of operation for compact car lines. At the center of this line sit two industrial monsters, 6,500-ton giga-casting machines. Traditional manufacturing welds together 270 separate metal pieces to create the front and rear structures of a car. Each weld point is a potential weakness requiring inspection and the entire process takes hours. The GigaCast compresses those 270 parts into two massive aluminum blocks in seconds. Front structure, one piece. Rear structure, one piece. The chassis is essentially born complete, but Tesla didn't stop at just scaling up existing technology. They reformulated the aluminum alloy itself to reduce brittleness while eliminating three kilograms of unnecessary reinforcements per vehicle. That might sound minor until you multiply it by 128,000 annual units, 384,000 kilograms of material saved yearly. The new alloy flows more smoothly during injection, reducing defects by 40% while creating a lighter yet stronger structure. Each machine costs over $20 million and requires installation on reinforced concrete slabs with vibration-absorbing plates to handle the constant impacts. Most manufacturers won't make that investment for a $30,000 car. So why did Tesla? The efficiency gains tell the story. Welding becomes obsolete, manual adjustments disappear, and assembly time drops dramatically. Right after the GigaCast, the chassis slides into a machining corridor that's only 31 meters long, half the 52 meters Volkswagen needs for the ID.3. This saves 14 seconds per vehicle, which translates to 497 hours of production time saved annually. That's over 20 full days of continuous production regained just by tightening one corridor. At this scale, every second becomes money and money becomes margin. This is how you price a technologically advanced car 
under $30,000 without losing profit. Here's where the Model 2 separates from every other affordable EV on the market. Instead of betting everything on one battery chemistry, Tesla deployed three different options, and each reveals something about their strategy. The launch version uses LFP batteries with 42 to 46 kilowatt hours capacity. It's proven technology with over 6,000 charge cycles before degradation begins, promising 15 plus years of reliable service for someone driving 15,000 kilometers yearly. LFP doesn't have the highest energy density, but it's stable, safe, and critically cheap enough to keep the base price under $30,000 while delivering 280 to 300 kilometers of range for daily urban driving. Then comes the second option, sodium ion batteries at 38 to 40 kilowatt hours capacity. On paper, they seem inferior with just 135 watt hours per kilogram density. But traditional lithium batteries lose 20 to 40 percent of their range in freezing temperatures. Sodium ion maintains full performance down to minus 22 degrees Celsius, solving a real problem that affects millions of drivers in cold regions. Plus, production costs run 22 to 28 percent lower because sodium ion doesn't depend on lithium, nickel, or cobalt. Tesla can offer this variant at the same price while maintaining better margins. For drivers in Chicago, Minneapolis, or Toronto, the 240 to 255 kilometer range without winter anxiety changes everything. Now, the wild card, aluminum ion batteries. Still in pilot phase, these aren't ready to power an entire vehicle. So, Tesla's installing 18 to 22 kilowatt hour modules as auxiliary range extenders with one capability that sounds like science fiction. Full recharge in under 90 seconds. This isn't marketing hype. Lab tests confirm it works. Stop at a charging station, grab coffee, return to a car with 50 kilometers of additional range. For urban seniors making short trips to markets and doctor appointments, this eliminates range anxiety completely. The energy density sits lower at 110 to 120 watt hours per kilogram, making aluminum ion impractical as a primary battery. But as a quick boost system in cities, it's brilliant. And because it uses no expensive metals, production costs could drop even further as manufacturing scales up. Tesla's betting on three horses simultaneously, creating insurance against supply chain disruptions. If lithium prices spike, sodium takes over. If sodium production lags, LFP holds steady. If aluminum ion scales up successfully, the entire game changes. This isn't just product diversity. It's strategic risk management worth billions. This is where most people get confused. Why would Tesla's cheapest, most flexible vehicle target drivers over 50? The answer reveals what the industry completely missed. The cabin arrives as a pre-assembled ergonomic module with wider seat rails requiring minimal effort to adjust. Door hinges are engineered for easy opening without strain. Interior levers have reduced resistance. The steering response is calibrated for drivers who may not have racing reflexes but still demand independence and comfort. Even the trunk opens lower, closer to ground level for easier loading of groceries and luggage. These aren't cosmetic touches. Each modification required engineering the entire cabin as a single aerospace-style unit, then installing it via robotic indexing with precision that ensures nothing sits out of place. Material choices reinforce the philosophy. Softer touch fabrics, larger physical buttons, fewer confusing touch screens, more intuitive controls. The audio system is calibrated specifically for mid to high frequency clarity, compensating for age-related hearing changes that affect this frequency range. These details don't appear in marketing spec sheets, but they transform daily user experience. 
And here's the business logic that makes this genius. People over 50 control approximately 70% of U.S. household wealth. They're more likely to purchase vehicles with cash or strong credit. They value reliability and comfort over 0 to 60 acceleration times. They drive less aggressively, reducing both insurance costs and vehicle wear over time. While every other EV manufacturer fights for tech-enthusiastic buyers aged 25 to 35, Tesla identified a market segment with more purchasing power and almost zero competition. They found blue ocean while everyone else battles in oversaturated waters. The battery installation system operates with just 0.7 millimeters tolerance. Three robotic arms lift the narrow battery module in perfect synchronization, bolting it directly to the GigaCast frame without any manual adjustment needed. This cuts installation time by five minutes per vehicle compared to Model Y assembly. Multiply that by 128,000 annual units, and you've saved 10,667 hours yearly. That's 444 full production days regained through precision engineering alone. Quality control runs through automated cameras and sensors that check every component in real time. Microscopic deviations trigger immediate adjustment or part separation for review, eliminating costly end-of-line rework and speeding vehicle release while ensuring consistent quality. For buyers over 50 who prioritize reliability over bleeding-edge performance features, this consistency matters more than any acceleration benchmark. The five-module independence deserves emphasis because it's revolutionary. Each module operates with buffer capacity and fault isolation. During normal production, all five work simultaneously. When one needs maintenance, the other four continue without interruption. Downtime drops dramatically, production stability increases, and output remains consistent even during repairs or upgrades. This modularity also enables future expansion. If Tesla decides to integrate aluminum ion batteries at full scale or add new manufacturing processes, they simply update specific modules rather than rebuilding the entire line. While competitors still debate whether affordable EVs can be profitable, Tesla built a factory proving it's possible. The 82-day timeline wasn't reckless speed. It was confidence from having every technical detail solved before breaking ground. The GigaCast machines eliminate 270 weld points. The corridor optimization saves 497 hours annually. The battery installation precision cuts 10,667 hours yearly. The modular independence reduces downtime by 35%. Each element supports the others, creating efficiency that makes $30,000 pricing sustainable with healthy margins. Other automakers will eventually copy parts of this approach. But Tesla's already ramping to 128,000 units annually, while competitors are still in planning committees. The Model 2 Senior Edition isn't just an affordable car. It's proof that rethinking manufacturing from first principles can unlock markets everyone else thought were impossible. So here's what this really reveals about Tesla's strategy. While every automaker chases the same young tech-savvy buyers, Tesla identified the most underserved market with the strongest purchasing power. The Model 2 Senior Edition isn't just an affordable EV, it's proof that the future of transportation doesn't belong to whoever builds the fastest car, but to whoever solves real problems for real people. The 82-day production timeline, the three-battery flexibility, the ergonomic focus, none of this happened by accident. This is Tesla stress-testing manufacturing systems that will eventually power their entire lineup at margins competitors can't touch. And here's what makes this genuinely disruptive. If Tesla can profitably build a $30,000 EV with this level of engineering sophistication, 
What happens when they apply these same principles to the Model 3, the Cybertruck, or future vehicles we haven't seen yet? The Gigacast technology alone could reshape how every car gets made within the next five years. The modular assembly system could become the industry standard. The multi-chemistry battery strategy might be how automakers finally escape lithium supply constraints. What do you think legacy automakers like GM or Ford will do when Tesla's already producing 128,000 affordable EVs annually, while they're still debating feasibility? Drop your predictions in the comments. This is Tech Revolution, and we dig into the breakthroughs that actually matter. If you want more analysis cutting through the hype with real engineering details, you know where to find us. The affordable EV war just got real. And Tesla fired the first shot that actually hit the target.